Hello everyone, and welcome to the Brick Formula review of LEGO Set 7942 Off-Road Fire Rescue. It has 130 pieces for ages 5 to 12, and it's from the City Series, and this set retails for $9.99. And before I continue, I would like to give a shout out to LEGO Fan 191 He is the subscriber who had requested that I review this set, so everyone check out his channel. And moving forward, here is the front of the box, and we see one lone firefighter who thinks he can do everything. And there he is again. And here in the back, we can see that he's cleaning up all of his toys. And that's what happens when you work alone. You gotta do everything. But anyway, I'll talk about this set in more detail coming up. Here is the minifigure, and surprisingly, this is the Fire Chief. For some reason, I was expecting someone a little bit older because of the years of experience, but this works too. I know a bunch of old guys who look young. Although not as cool as this guy. And there's no details on the back. Now will take a look at the pickup. Here's the pickup truck and as you can see it's a very simple design. There it is from the side and right over there is where you can put the sticker with the set number there which is probably not necessary and there's a top where you can put another sticker. You can put this right over there and right there in the back you can put these two stickers. And speaking of the back, this panel here can open up obviously and that's where you can attach the trailer. There's the bottom, not much, and there's the front. This thing can almost pass off as a regular pickup truck. All you have to do is rip off this part and replace these two blue slopes here with a different color. And maybe lose the radio too. Which, I gotta say, it's a little strange that they put it over there. I guess it's okay, that is until it starts raining and then your radio goes kaput. But anyway, you can take this part off. Just like that. And as you see, it's pretty spacious in there. There's a little gap in there right in front of the steering wheel, which is a little weird. But I guess it's okay. It's not really noticeable when you're playing with this. And there he goes. And there we have it. Not bad. Let's take a look at the trailer. This trailer here looks like the most sophisticated piece of equipment you can lug around. And here it is up close. I like this part over here. It's a simple solution to a very simple problem. Because without it, how else would you keep this trailer up? And here it is from the side. And in here we have a little compartment to store your air tank. And in the front here we can put what looks like a fire extinguisher. Over here in America it's red. I guess in other places it's yellow. But anyway, it's okay. And there we have a mask. Here's the back, and this part can open up. And this part can come off. And this right here looks like the most sophisticated flashlight I've ever seen. The one I'm used to has an on and off switch. This one has a few dials there. Maybe it's to adjust the intensity, who knows. And here we have a chainsaw and the axe. Pretty handy. And there we have a fire hose. And I'm just kind of wondering where on earth is the water? I guess we'll figure that out later, or you can just use your imagination. Over here we have another compartment, which is empty. And we have more dials up here, for who knows what. Probably to see how much water you have left, which is easy, zero. And there we go. And now we'll just take this and attach it right there. And now we're off to go save some fires. Or fight fires, rather. And now on to the recommendations. Overall, I'd say that this is a good set. I could see why something like this has stuck around for so long, because this thing came out in 2007. Usually the average lifespan of a Lego set is like a year and a half to two years, sometimes even shorter. So this one seems to be like a classic in a way. And at $10, we're looking at 7.7 .7 cents a piece, and this would make a really ideal gift because of the price range. And it's a really great value, and in the end you'll see that it complements any city set pretty easily. And I think you'll like it, and that sums up my review. Hope you guys enjoyed the show, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.